Article 20 of Indian Constitution deals with protection to accused persons. It has three clauses. Article 20, Clause 1 deals with protection against ex post facto law. Article 20, Clause 2 deals with double jeopardy. Article 20, Clause 3 deals with prohibition against self-incrimination. Protection to accused persons. Article 20 deals with protection to accused persons. Today in this video we shall learn about Article 20 Clause 1 that is protection against ex post facto law. A legislator can make prospective as well as retrospective laws. What is a prospective law? A prospective law is applicable from the date of commencement of the statute. Statute nilavil varna date mudal applicable agna laws ne aana prospective laws endu parayinada. Prospective laws are applicable from the date of commencement of the statute. A retrospective law is the one that has a backdated effect that is a retrospective law is applicable to matters taking place before the commencement of the statute statute ready avunnayinu mumbulla matters il polum applicable aayittulla laws neyana retrospective laws ennu parayunnathu so a legislator can make prospective as well as retrospective laws these retrospective laws are also known as ex post facto laws. Ex post facto law imposes penalties retrospectively on an act already done or increased penalty for such acts. Ex post facto law retrospective item, penalties imposed to you already Nadati Tulor Act in Melil, Alangil, already Ulla penalty in him increased Chainu. Adiniana ex post facto law in the Parayanada. Article 20, Clause 1 prohibits legislator to make retrospective criminal laws. Article 20, Clause 1, legislator ne. Retrospective right to criminal laws in the Nirmana Tilinna Vilakunu, but it does not prohibit imposition of civil liability retrospectively. So, this Article 20, Clause 1 is not applicable in civil cases. Article 20, Clause 1 prohibits legislator to make retrospective criminal laws. It assesses two points, the offence as well as the penalty. Article 20, Clause 1 says, If an act is not an offence on the date of its commission, it cannot be made an offence on a subsequent date. Date of commission, law offence Allah thora act, pinnida offence aqwan patilla. Pinnio, penalty, no additional penalty or fine or enhanced punishment not applicable according to Article 20, Clause 1. Thus, Article 20 provides protection to accused persons against ex post facto law. We have two important case laws in Article 20, Clause 1. First one, Kedarnath was a state of West Bengal. In this case, the accused committed an offence in 1947, which was punishable by imprisonment or fine or both. The trial went on till 1949 and in 1949, the act was amended, which enhanced the punishment for the same offence by an additional fine equivalent to the amount of money procured by the accused through the offence. Kedarnath was a state of West Bengal in the case le accused the offence 1947 le commit chedu. At that time, that offence was punishable by imprisonment or fine or both. So case nadana nadana 
विधिप्रस्ताव Second case law, Arathanlal was a state of Punjab. In this case, the Supreme Court held that if the amendment act reduces the punishment or if the accused gets some benefit with the new law amendment, then in such cases, retrospective effect is valid and Article 20, Clause 1 will not repeal such a law. So, new amendment pragaram, ഒരു അക്യൂസിന് ഏതെങ്കിലും തരത്തിലുള്ള ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ പണിഷ്മെൻ്റ് റെഡ്യൂസ് ആവുകയാണ് എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദെൻ ഇൻ സച്ച് കേസസ് ദ റിട്രോസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ക്രിമിനൽ ലോ ഈസ് വാലിഡ് ആൻഡ് ആർട്ടിക്കിൾ ട്വൻറ്റി ക്ലോസ് വൺ വിൽ നോട്ട് റിപ്പീൽ സച്ച് എ ലോ